subscribe please just click that watermark that's throughout the video on the bottom right welcome to fastang 444 For now I have the Horizon Rush Festival site set as my home, so I just tried starting right here. Let's see if I can't find a drop. As the game starts, I would hear one if it was behind me, see one if it was in front of me. I don't, so I will move nearby right over here. I've had some luck finding some drops right at the beginning in this area, so let's give this a try. Sometimes there's a drop right around this intersection and there wasn't, so let's see. We need to up here is the Kessel home. Sometimes there's a drop right on this side of it. There isn't. Sometimes there's one ahead here, just over this hill. There isn't. And this is north of Guanajuato. You can see drops in the city if there were drops there. I don't see one. There is a car on the mini map on the left there. It looked like they started heading this direction and maybe saw me and went the opposite direction, which is fine. I don't like to engage in head to heads when I'm in a level one. I would rather find a drop at least a mid-level drop before engaging in head-to-heads. Right when I get around this corner, or bend in the road, I see a drop straight ahead and look what I find. This is a good start. A level 7 Ferrari P4. So I'd like to chase down that car that was nearby and get into a head-to-head -head right away. I didn't. I wound up getting in two more head to heads and here I am in this level 9 Fiesta. I am around Horizon Mexico as you might notice. If there's a car driving around I see on the mini map that is apparently on a car drop search I would guess because they were looking at those drops. I'm going to pause and engage in the head to head they miscalculated, thinking the head-to-head -head would lead towards me leg south, and it doesn't. This is actually one of the shorter head-to-heads. It just leads over here, just a short distance across the desert over on this road. So I will get into a level 10. And let's see what I get here. <laughs> Funny username, Jan Elway, and for us Americans, that is a play on words for a famous quarterback, John Elway. <laughs> and, uh, so I'll fast forward ahead. I wound up in a Mercedes-Benz AMG 1, and it is almost time for the final showdown. And this will be Arena 12 which normally heads Arena, east on the expressway. So I will just creep ahead and get in position, not leaving enough time to complete a head-to-head. -head. I have equal competition with another AMG-1 in this final showdown. Head to heads complete! Get ready for the final showdown! Final showdown begins in... And some more competition with another level 10, a Brocky. 30 seconds! And this is the point I like to leave from for this final showdown in the left lane between the perimeter and the bridge that is ahead. This is Arena 12, 
the range of time to leave is 16 to 18 seconds. I will leave it the maximum, 18 seconds. The AMG One, although it has the highest top speed, it doesn't have the fastest acceleration rate. I thought the Brocky may have left early and would be eliminated by the arena. Two, one, go! I will change lanes before this guardrail to eliminate them possibly bumping me and causing me to run in the bridge that's ahead. I'll open up the map so I don't crash and go off the road and I see the finish is southeast of the pyramid strip. So once I get across this bridge, here's this yellow billboard I use as a point to turn. And the next point I am heading towards is the left of these greenhouses that is ahead. My momentum actually carries me right through the corner of it, which is fine as long as I don't hit the greenhouse. A few trees to get through and then go to the left here on this road. The Brocky wound up taking a more direct route and hitting a tree. That is the AMG-1 that's coming up quick behind me. They wound up going off to the right. I cut through a couple trees to the left. And what a great win in a three level 10 car final showdown. I'll pause and then enlarge this. This is just a moment that this appears and it shows that I beat the one vehicle at the bottom there. That was the AMG-1, so whichever car is the closest. Welcome to the secret society of the Illuminati! Oh, shh. I hope you enjoyed that video and if you've been watching my videos, you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Just click that link on the bottom right. I'd very much appreciate it. I'm trying to get my channel to grow. Thanks a lot.